today we'll go ahead with linear programming problems solving problem by graphical method so solve graphically means we have to draw constraints so first x plus y less than or equal to 50 in order to plot the graph we'll take x axis 1 centimeter as one unit y axis 1 centimeter as one unit these are the constraints x plus y less than or equal to 50 3x plus y less than or equal to 90 Welcome to the session dear students. Today we'll go ahead with linear programming problems solving problem by graphical method. So now these are all standard FIMA questions. So now solve the following LPP using graphical method. So now they want you to maximize z is equal to 60x plus 15y subject to the constraints x plus y less than or equal to 50, 3x plus y less than or equal to 90, xy greater than or equal to 0. So dear students, z is equal to 60x plus 15y. This is objective function. This is the objective function which we need to maximize or minimize. Now I need to draw graph for these three. So solve graphically means we have to draw constraints. So first x plus y less than or equal to 50. So x plus y less than or equal to 50. How to draw this? Put x is equal to 0, you will get y value as 50. So if we want to draw prove graphically, first we need to draw graph for, we need to draw graph for inequalities. So these are the three inequalities for this we need to draw graph. So first we'll take x plus y less than or equal to 50. In this we'll take x plus y equal to 50. x equal to 0 if you put y becomes 50. So one point you got 0, 50. And y is equal to 0 if you take you will get x is equal to 50. Other point you got 0, comma 50. On the graph, so all of you know 0, 50 is a point on what axis? Y axis. 0, 50 and 50, 0 sorry this is x value 50, y value what 0. All of you know point is written in the form of x comma y. So this is 50, 0. Dry line. So now less than or equal to means what shade below. So this is what we have done. If you see first I took x plus y equal to 50, put x equal to 0, you will get y equal to 50 and Plot the point x comma y is the point in the place of x we assumed 0 so put 0 y value in the place of x if I put 0 y becomes 0 and we will get one point we got 0 50 that will plot it here 0 comma 50 this is point and we call this as c and similarly put in the same point y value we put 0. So here if I put y is 0 this will become 0 and x will become 50 so x value is 50. They have given the first line. What is the first line? x plus y less than or equal to 50. If you want to draw the line, you should take equal to. Take x plus y equal to 0. Equal to what? 50. Now in the place of x put 0. In the place of x if you put 0, y value will become 50. So point is what? x comma y. What is x? 0. y is what? 50. This is point a. Now x plus y equal to 50 put y is equal to 0. In the place of y put 0, so it will become x plus 0 is equal to 50. So x will become what? 50. So point b, b is what? x comma y. What is x? 50. 50 comma 0. This is point b. 0, 50, 50, 0. So 0, 50 and this is 50 comma 0. This is 50 comma 0 and this is 0 comma 50. Now we plot it. So dear students, Less than or equal to means we have to shade below. So this is one point that is 50, 0. The other point that is 0, 50. See less than means shade below towards origin or simply speaking x plus y less than or equal to 50 in the place of x and y put origin. Origin means 0, 0. 0 plus 0 less than 50. 0 less than 50. 0 less than 50 is true. All of you know 0 is less than 50. True means go towards 0. 0 means this point. All of you know point of intersection of x axis and y axis is called as origin. So go towards 0. So shade towards 0. So now this is 0, 50 and this is 50, 0. I will shade towards what origin. 
So shading we'll do like this. No. So afterwards, second line. See, first constant we have done. I am done with first constant. Now I should draw second constant. What is second constant? 3x plus y less than or equal to 90. So now we will go to second constant. Second constant is 3x plus y less than or equal to 90. We will draw this. How to draw this? So put first you take equal to 3x plus y equal to 90 you take. Now in the place of x put 0. When you take x is equal to 0, 3 into 0 plus y is equal to 90 or y is equal to 90. So x comma y is point. So now we got point. Point is written in the form of x comma y. x is 0, y is 90, 0, 90. So we got one of the point that is 0 comma 90. So now that we need to plot. 0 comma 90 is the point here. This is 0, 90. On y axis at 0, 90. So now we will use other color. Say this is second line. 0 comma, sorry, 0 comma 90. And now what we do, we will uh, substitute y equal to 0. If I put y equal to 0, so 3x plus y is equal to 90. In the place of y put 0, 3x is equal to 90. So 3x is equal to 90. x is what? 90 by 3. What is 90 by 3? 3 ones are 3, 30 is a x is 30. So 30 comma 0. 30 comma 0. 30 comma 0 is here. This is 30 comma 0. So now I need to show now we got a line. If I draft, sorry, if I draft this line, this is line. So line is so one point is 0, 090. 0, 090 is a point on uh, y axis, and the other one is 30. 30, 0 is a point on x axis, and this is a line, and we need to shade, we'll shade down. So we have shaded this line. Now, why I am shading this? Because they told less than or equal to. Or I told you to share the logic. 3x plus y less than or equal to 90. Put origin. Origin means what? 0, 0. In the place of x and y, if I put 0, 0, I will get 0 less than 90. 0 less than 90 is true. 0 is a number which is less than 90. So, go towards origin. So, shading again towards this. So, if I take the graph, 1.090, 1.30, I should shade below towards origin. I am shading this. So now we are done with this. Observe this carefully. Now we have plotted and we have shaded. So now what is solution region? Very important. Common region, common region of shading, common region of shading is solution region, feasible region is feasible. What is feasible? Common region. So you can see shading goes down here also shading goes down. So common region both shadings will mix in the region origin and uh, point C and point B and point A at this point. So this is common region. So I should retain only this region. Remaining part uncommon region will erase. Uncommon region will erase. So we will take eraser. See, this is between only these two, the blue lines. So, I will erase them. Now, red lines are also between these two. And common region, blue lines and red lines will mix in red shading as well as blue shading will mix in this region. This region is called as what? Feasible region. So, from the diagram, feasible. Uh, shading is feasible region and feasible region, which is a feasible region, point O, C, A, O, O, C, B, A, O, C, B, A, O, O, C, B, A, O. This is the common region of shading. We call it as feasible region. What is common region of shading called as feasible region? Now, going ahead, see, in order to plot the graph, we will take x axis 1 centimeter as 1 unit, y axis 1 centimeter as 1 unit. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. We plot this and we will get the graph. So, common region where both the shadings will mix, we call it as feasible region. So, feasible region, the vertices of feasible region are corner points. Now, we should make a table containing corner points and z. Corner points and z. What are corner points? O, C, B, A, O. So, here I wrote O, A, B, C. These are the corner points. Now, till now we have not used the 
ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन वट इज ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन देखियो द फंक्शन विच वी नीड टू मैक्सिमाइज आर मिनिमाइज दैट इज सिक्सटी एक्स प्लस फिफ्टीन वाई सो दैट इज इक्वल टू सिक्सटी एक्स प्लस फिफ्टीन वाई दिस इज ऑब्जेक्टिव फंक्शन ना वी शुड पुट कॉर्नर पॉइंट्स टू दिस वॉट आर कॉर्नर पॉइंट्स वर्टिस इज अ फीजिबल रीजन सो वर्टिस इज अ फीजिबल रीजन सो डी एस स्टूडेंट्स फीजिबल रीजन इज वॉट ओ सी बी ए सो दिस ए दिस बी दिस सी एंड ओ दीज आर द वर्टिस ऑफ कॉर्नर पॉइंट्स दिस वर्टिस वी कॉल दस कॉर्नर पॉइंट्स वॉट आर द वर्टिस ए ओ सी बी रिमेनिंग वर्टेक्स Remaining points are not corner points. What are corner points? Vertices of feasible region. Feasible region means what? Common region of shading. Which is the common region of shading? O C B A. So now we'll plot the graph. O origin A B C. Now you put O in Z. So in the place of X and Y, put this. Sixteen to Z, zero fifteen to zero. So we'll get zero. And similarly, put A in corner point. A is what? 30 comma 0 in the place of x put 30 in the place of y put 0 16 to 30 is 180 uh, 1800 1800 plus 0 is 1800 and then 20 comma 30 you put it in objective function will get 1650 and put 050 will get 750 they want you to maximize so in the table this is the maximum value so therefore we control in solving we'll get maximum profit is 1800 rupees and that maximum occurs at what so you can see maximum occurs at 30 comma 0 so what is the value of maximum so z max z max is 1800 and occurs at what occurs at 30 comma 0 you should not mention the point a b c you should give the point values so first we have to draw the constants let me repeat the process we have graphs draw the graph shade it so constants what are the constants here these are the constants x plus y less than or equal to 50 3x plus y less than or equal to 90 xy greater than or equal to 0 xy greater than or equal to 0 means first quadrant no need to draw this separately xy greater than 0 means only this region first quadrant x is positive y is positive so only draw these two how to draw this uh, x plus y equated to 50 and find the point on x axis find the point on x axis y axis and draw a line shade it and second line also you draw and shade then common region you retain uncommon region you erase common region of shading we call it as what feasible region and do corner point and objective function table so one side will do corner point one side will do objective function substitute the corner points in z so we'll get objective function that's it So now we'll go to the next graph. Maximize z is equal to 5x plus 3y. Subject to conditions, 3x plus 5y less than or equal to 50. 5x plus 2y less than or equal to 10. X greater than or equal to 0. Y greater than or equal to 0. I told you, if you want to solve this, first you should graph these three. These three are conditions, are constraints. Here, this is what first quadrant. You no need to draw this. This represents first quadrant. So now I should draw those two lines. What is the first line? 3x plus 5y less than or equal to 15. Now I need to draw this line and shade this. How to draw this? First, you should take equal to 15. 3x plus 5y equal to 15. Now put x equal to 0. If you put x equal to 0, then it will become 3 into 0 plus 5y is equal to 15. Then 3 zeros are 0. 5y is 15 and y. What is y? 15 by 5. 15 by 5 is what? 5 ones are 5 threes are y is 3. Now, now we got a point. Point I call it as A. A is x y. What is x value? X zero you took and y you got three zero comma three. And same in the same line, put y equal to zero. If you put y equal to zero, three x plus zero equal to fifteen. And x is equal to what? Fifteen by three. Three ones are three five. So x is five. And the point B. What is the point B? X comma y. That is five comma zero. Now one is. Uh, 0 comma 3 1 is 5 comma 0 so 0 comma 5 is here and uh, the other one is what 5 comma 0 5 comma 0 is here 0 comma 3 sorry 0 comma 3 is here and 5 comma 0 so or if you separately draw this now so we'll get two points one point is point on x axis what is the point on x axis that is 0 comma sorry 5 comma 0 one will get 5 comma 0 The other one is zero comma three point on y axis zero comma three and stretch a line between these two and less than means shade below shade below so means put origin zero less than fifty so shade it below and next we have drawn one 
now we'll go to the second one 5x plus 2y less than or equal to 10 5x plus 2y less than or equal to 10 equate 5x plus 2y equate it to 0 10 x is equal to 0 you take so 5 into 0 plus 2y is equal to 10 so 2y is equal to 10 that is y is equal to 10 by 2 that is 5 so now we got the point 0 comma 5 one point is 0 5 so that is the point on y axis 0 5 and in the same line put y 0 in the place of y if you put 0 this part will become 0 5x is 10 and x is 2 x you will get 2 2 comma 0 2 comma 0 is another point stretch a line again if you see less than is there less than means what shade below so dear students two lines we have drawn and we have to shade both the lines and we have to conclude so now second line second line will shade second line we will shade it with red lines. The first line shading, say black lines will shade. This is the first line shading. So both the lines are mixing here. O and here 0 at 0, 3 and B and A, O, A on this particular point. So this point is feasible region. Feasible region, we will draw corner points and here you can see point of intersection is there. You draw perpendicular, you draw perpendicular, you will get the point of intersection. If you take the scale exactly, you will get the point of intersection or solve the simultaneous equations. First equation is 3x plus 5y, second is 5x plus 2y. So make the quotient same. So I will make this 15, I will make this 15 by multiplying. So multiply these two interchange and you will get this, solve it, you will get the value of x. and put the value and you know how to solve simultaneous equation that will give you point of intersection or from the graph also you can find point of intersection from the graph also you can find point of intersection you will get the point of intersection that is 1.1 and 2.37 so afterwards we will draw corner points corner point means what is a feasible region O A B C see here O A B C this is C this is common region uncommon region will erase now we will erase uncommon region when you are un uncommon region when you erase you will get common region that is feasible region from the graph what is the feasible region from the graph feasible region is the region which is common for both so therefore feasible region is o c b a this particular part and these are corner points. Substitute the corner points in what? Objective function that is z. So now we will put them in z. So this is z objective function. In the objective function we will substitute the point O then A then B then C and we will get the value. In this out of this the maximum value is 15.15. So therefore z is maximum at what is called as x value 1.1 y value 2.3. So, and maximum value is 15.5. From the corner point table, you can get. So, by this, we have done the problem. So, now let me explain or let me repeat what we have done. So, conditions, constraints, constraints, we should draw graph and we should shade. From that we should get corner points. Then you should write the table of corner points. Corner points and objective function. Substitute corner point in z to get the value of z. From the table which is highest value that is maximum, which is least value that is minimum. So going ahead, so just let me summarize. What is our first problem? Maximize. This is objective function. These are the conditions. So two conditions, draw graph for two conditions. So when you draw graph, the first graph is here, second graph is here, put together, this is the common graph. Shade both the lines. In that shading, retain the common region and erase the uncommon. So both will mix in this region. This common region is called as feasible region. And vertices of feasible region, we call them as corner points. So these are corner points. Substitute corner points in objective function, that is Z. So Z given in the problem and you will get values and maximum value is 1800 minimum value is zero they want maximum you write maximum if they want you to find minimum you can find minimum this is in brief introduction about lpp and we have done graphical solution so in my next session i'll go ahead with more problems thanks for attending thank you